So the next concept I want to introduce is Edwards curves that we will later use to construct the nice signature systems. So a tiny little bit about history. This form of curves have already been studied in the 18th century. They were recently rediscovered by Edwards and they are named after Edwards. And then they were picked up by Bernstein and Lange in order to use them for cryptography and they also generalized them into twisted Edwards curves. So I just said that, that because I want you to know that a couple of people have worked across a hundreds of years just for you in order to make your internet browsing secure. So show some respect. Um, so Edwards curves, they have a different equation that looks quite different from, from the Weierstrass curve. And they are defined over a field with this d parameter in the curve equation that can't be 0 or 1. So maybe if you look at this for the first time, you think, OK, x squared plus y squared equals 1. This seems oddly familiar. This looks like a unit circle, right? And if you plot curves like that, they actually seem very similar to the unit circle. And you can think of them as bent unit circles, essentially. So even if we plot them over a finite field, this is the same base field we have used earlier, mod 2503. You can see that they look like they are a circle, right? So that's quite cool. But why these curves are nice to work with and what we can do with them, we'll see in the next videos.